Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Today it's going to be about what? Make ahead breakfast. So let's just go ahead and get to it because I have tons of eggs. Let's put some good healthy fat. Our good beef strips, healthy fat, leftover grease. I want to go ahead and make breakfast burrito. So first thing I'm going to do is I have tons of eggs. As you guys remember last video, we had tons of eggs. And I'm thinking, what can I do with these eggs? Hmm. My children love burritos and I did not make the tortilla. I bought it from the grocery store and I thought, you know what, whatever is in the fridge, let's go ahead and put it together. Leftovers, meal plan, vegetables, we'll just put everything and make a delicious filling breakfast burrito that we let's call it make ahead breakfast so come along this is when meal prep comes in handy i just love the days i have already things chopped oh am i so grateful some nights I stand here while I'm talking to the children or my husband and I'm chopping things. And now, this is the benefit. I wanted these burritos also have lots of veggies that would be fiber for the children, you know. Mix the zucchini with the onions, red peppers, Mix all that together. Let's add some more good healthy fat. Salt, black pepper. So vibrant, isn't it? While that's cooking, let's put our eggs together. I'm working on ginger tea, so refreshing. The reason I chose today to make this breakfast burrito make ahead breakfast is that it's raining and it's Saturday and everybody's gone, just Sharif and I are home and I thought, wait a minute, let's take advantage. A friend of mine and I is supposed to be walking to the farmer's market and it started raining and I'm like, okay. Go ahead and do this thing and freeze some in the summer we can be outside enjoying doing things that we can do for our farm gardening so and also we don't want these eggs to go to waste so it's a good way to uh, use the eggs so i have about a dozen so let's go ahead add pepper some salt and i'm just going to add some taco seasoning to kind of flavor it mix it the veggies are nice and really cooked together Let's move that and cook our eggs. We need the veggies to cool down before we can add everything together, you know, and the eggs too. Nice, generous of uh, good, healthy fat. There goes the eggs. I'm just going to scramble them and cool them down. While that is cooking the eggs, let's mix another dozen of eggs. Today I am determined that these eggs will not go to waste. Last night I prepared some ground beef that we had in the fridge into meatballs. And I thought, you know what? add eggs and my husband just brought few eggs from the uh, chickens and some of them were a little bit broken and i thought hmm and there were five of them so i was able to 
mix those five into the uh, meatballs. I would like extra protein. It would be filling and uh, everybody will enjoy them. And that would be, I'll bake those Monday when the children, everybody is home. As a homemaker, you always have to think ahead, which I really love and enjoy. My husband and the boys were in Canada for about a week. And when he came back, he said, honey, I kept thinking about you. I said, yeah, how so? And he said, every morning he was cooking for the boys and Grandpa D went with them and he said, every morning I would make breakfast before we go to the lake to fish. And he said, the night before I would look what we have and then he said, I was able to make it in the morning. So he said, every time I was doing that, I was thinking of you. I said, well, that's great because that's what I do every day. What are we going to have tomorrow, right? When I'm handling eggs and chicken, I love to kind of wash my hands, you know. Let's mix the eggs. We will go ahead and do the same thing. Peppers, taco seasoning, lots of it. Because the children will be like, wait a minute. What's in this thing? Mix it up. Continuously washing hands, right? Let's remove these. It's nice, these are all done. The eggshells will go back to the chickens and the ducks. Let's clean because we want to have these tortillas. Nice and clean island. Let's put these here. Let's go ahead and get a clean dish. What I want to do is take this dish and bring everything and pour all together, mix it, put them in the tortilla, wrap it, and we are done. Here are the scrambled eggs. I was trying to surprise you before you came home to uh, make uh, use all the eggs. Oh, my the, goodness. Those are really pretty. Yeah, I, saw, I thought of you. When I... They look like you, actually. <laughs> they smell. Mm, oh, Shall that smells I... so nice. Mm, nice. Yeah. Mm. So pretty with the green top. Yeah, isn't and that stuff. Nice? Yeah. I saw that and I was like, oh, well, that's... Reminds me of my wife. <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet. Okay, let's add the uh, veggies, just a half of it. Because we still have other eggs that we have to cook, right? And then I have this meat was leftovers, burgers that we made. So we're going to mix it, mix it all together. And then I don't want it to be dry. So I'm just going to mix a couple of spoons of salsa. Actually, I might mix the whole cup of salsa in there. I realized I have to cook these other eggs so they can cool down too while I'm working on that. I will go ahead and mix some shredded cheese. So these tortillas are tomato basil and then I have garden spinach. So we'll take half of this and make it with the cheese mixture and half of this 
we will have some that don't have any cheese. And I have a measuring cup, so I don't have to uh, deal with, you know, some of them too much filling, some of them are, you know, not filling. So I'm just gonna put that there and wrap them. That's a perfect size for us, our family. Good thing I cleaned the uh, island, right? Perfect. There, you have a full tortilla. Nice breakfast burrito make a head breakfast right how's that so this bag is not gonna have cheese this will be without cheese It was wonderful finding out that she couldn't have cheese and then we omit the cheese and she felt so much better. Sometimes when you know certain things that you cannot eat, just knowing it, you feel better and then you can do something about it. But when you don't know and trying to find out it's such a frustrating, but now Knowing her, she can't have cheese. I'm like, okay, we'll make some without a cheese and she's fine. Thank God. I'm just going to also add, since we have the eggs and the veggies mix and leftover of uh, burgers. Salsa. Let's mix all together. Don't think that I am this super woman who can keeps going and going. No, my husband just got home and he sat down to eat. So I'm just gonna also eat with him and take a break before I do the other pad. Last night I was able to put together salmon, shrimp, vegetables, Thai curry. This recipe is from Sabrina. So I'm going to go ahead and tomatoes. I see the tomatoes now. I put it in there last night. So I'm just going to nourish my body with this soup. And I have a lemon and also Sharifa and I put together egg bites. These are low carb. If you want to see it, you can watch it the way I made it by now. That video should be up my uh, weight loss uh, healthy uh, channel. It's called Yassi's Journey. You can watch it from there. And Sharifa and I have been really eating and munching it already. These have no carbs. Well, the veggies. The veggies have carbs, so. These are amazing. They taste so good, so good. Bismillah, right? Let me show you the soup so closely. That's what the soup looks like. Tons of veggies and seafood. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Let's cover this and sit with my husband and enjoy. And then we'll come back. So I have been working on the ones that didn't have the cheese and I had a bag of sun-dried uh, basil tortillas. So I'm finishing up now. And then I thought we had uh, freezing uh, freezer paper. We don't. 
because I like to wrap them individual. But since I don't have that, my husband is giving me getting me um, bags that we will just go ahead and uh, put them in just the way they are. What do you think? It looks good. Are these okay? Yeah, do you think we should wrap them in a parchment paper or just the way they are, don't you think? I have to wipe it here. What do you think? I think it would work just to put, like how many again, put like four? I guess we're just gonna go ahead and use what we have. I'm sure this will not last long anyway. I have some mixture left, so I will put that into a dish and I'll enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I will let you handle, if you don't mind, the ones without the cheese. These are, okay. so we made four and four, eight, four more, 12, and then 16, 18. So today is June 1st. Always write it down what you are freezing. Otherwise you will get mixed up and go, what happened? What was that, right? Okay. BB for breakfast burrito without cheese. Excellent. Good. I couldn't ask for more. These have cheese. Okay. Breakfast burritos with cheese. Okay. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, my dear. Abruciated. <laughs> so what do you think? Since it's going to be just her, shall I do four in a bag and so we don't get a whole bag because she can't eat all of this. True, just do three. Three in a bag? Yeah. I like your way. <laughs> Thank you. That's, uh, yeah. That's smart. Otherwise, you know. So all you need to do is get the air out and you are set for your family. We have so many uh, different diets in our house now that I'm like, okay. At yeah. the beginning, you know, I was fussing and everything, but now I'm like, okay, you just got to respect what everybody's needs are. You want me to put these in here? So these are, yeah, you do those. And uh, may I, maybe this one you can write without a cheese. Okay. Um, yeah. What about these other ones? What's These uh, with the cheese, what shall, how many do you think? Maybe four and a half. Four each bag? Yeah. The, okay. That'll fit comfortably. Okay, so you do the cheese and I will finish without the cheese. How's that? Looks like one more bag. One more bag? For these. Uh, shall we put them? four more. But can we color them each color? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oops. Well, if we put four, we're going to need uh, one extra of one of them. Would you want this, two of these in this one? Yeah, however. So, oh, I need one more bag too. And you need one more, honey? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take the uh, air out since you write so pretty, so I thought, mm, I, I like when you write things. Get the air out, and that's really it. And thanks, by the way, for doing the dishes. Yeah. After I ate, I was like, okay, I don't think I want to do dishes. So most <laughs> of the dishes are done. This is the without cheese. And this one is yours? That's okay. This one is with the cheese. Ooh, just... These have two, so that's perfect. But this one is really like filled, you know. Well, that's going to be useful. Yeah. Yeah. When you pull these out, the children will be happy. My children love anything to do with tortillas and bread and 
They honestly are like hard people, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I mean, which culture is not a hard? True. I mean, there's always something bread or pasta, pasta or rice. rice. Yeah, there's it's, always a carb. Yeah, it's, it's like. It's pretty staple. Yeah. It is really, and cheap. Or a grain. Yeah. Corn or something like that. It's That's like true too. Carb too. Yeah. So every culture it seems like has like a major. I can't believe. I think so. It's really cultural thing. Oh, thank you for taking the air out too. How's that? Good. There we are. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you, good sir. So if you were a single person, you would have a 20 breakfast, make ahead, grab and go burritos full of veggies and good healthy fats and cheap way to make them and you can freeze them. How awesome is that? These look really good, don't they? Especially for summertime, you can just get them out of the freezer the night before put them in the fridge, let it thaw, and then just warm it up in the oven. Well, we don't have a microwave. Our family, we don't use a microwave, so we will probably put them in the oven, maybe a few minutes, and the cheese and everything will melt together, and that will be it. I wanna go ahead now and uh, also get the uh, egg bites out. Some of them I'll put them in the fridge and uh, some of them I'll probably freeze them. Do you like that honey, the egg bites? Yeah, it's really good. Look at them. How good these girls look. Yeah. I can't believe it. And honey, if we ever travel, yeah. we can't have some because they have sausage, pork sausage in the stores. Yeah, the places, yeah. They do and then and then uh, if you get the spinach kind, how much is like five bucks a piece? That is just crazy. Oh, it doesn't make any sense to me that this little piece would be five bucks. Okay. That's why homemade from scratch is the best. And then uh, you know what you are eating, what your family's eating. Well, I'm constantly saying that, and I, honey. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. And my uh, egg muffin pans. This this one was two ninety nine from secondhand store, and this beauty was probably two ninety nine from secondhand store. That's how I save your money, babe. Thank yep, you, you're welcome. He said thank you. So I'm just gonna continue working on these. I don't mean to brag about it, but honestly, aren't they beauty? Look at these girls. So beautiful. It looks like we have about 10 egg bites and one extra one. It's a little tip for me to uh, enjoy it later. Take the air out and I'm just gonna go ahead and freeze those because we have tons of eggs coming. We will use them. So thank you so much for hanging with me today and make a head breakfast. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you here in our little community and give the videos thumbs up. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.